feeling. I know it's uh, been a long you. night for you. Everyone? You look like you could use some rest. Uh, I'm pissed off. Feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now, if I'm honest. I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends nope. on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Well, I did. So fuck you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Exactly, so shut up. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Uh, you missed the spot. <laughs> mm, okay, you don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just love that. <laughs> Hey yo, fatality. <laughs> we have to go now. Hello, Crane. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Uh, let me finish this first. Take the picture. Thank you. Challenge. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this doesn't change this anything. This doesn't change anything. Fine. We um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. He was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And a big day, we have to tread carefully here. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Maybe not, but you know, they still have, might have somewhat to do with it. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. Do you? It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. No, 
I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. <laughs> just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. I know. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. Oh. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and Great soon parking, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. <laughs> Just break your fucking glass. Fuck you. Stop talking about snow and let me get on with my job. You know, to find the fucking killer. The woodland looks right about me. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot cool. less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning oh, on boy, using dear, that? Shut up. I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. Hello. Oh, answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you. Maybe we you, but you know. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? No. You'd be good at it, I think. Shut up, but just fucking Eddie. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Oh, snow. Someone murdered Snow White. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Only... Just let me go, all right? I'm saving that. Oh, to shit. Man. 
Well, I'll tell you what, we'll this offer it. You see that? See this alone. Of this. Here. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <laughs> what a waste. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I uh -huh. don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. <clears throat> All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Okay, then what if I offer you the whiskey? You just carry this around? Always handy that way. I could, I guess. This is ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. You're gonna give him a massage, offer him a nice steak dinner, Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. Fine. Try it your way. Big B? Shut up, old man. This is how it has to oh, be. Oh no, a person won't burn you, Pratt! What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. Nah, she took something from my boss. Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Well then. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Uh. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers up, from him. And just let me do what I do. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Uh, what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself. Immensely. Stop it, you ass. Watch out, guy. Uh... Don't... Snow? Snow. What's going on down here? What? Excuse me? Snow. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I thought she did. <laughs> I still got this in my bugging phone.
Well, episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. You're still asleep? Come on. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a me? hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yeah. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead... I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thank you. Thanks. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened... I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel so do like... I. What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this, and why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh, we'll find out that, won't we? I mean, that's what it is, right? Yes. So, what's our next move? Uh. We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh, 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 friend zoned. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. E even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself. Myself. Right. <laughs> Up a damn business office. I wonder if they ever found that cat. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk. That guy's still hanging there. After, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Why's the guy still hanging? Oh, hello, Buffkin. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. <laughs> love. We've been waiting there a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Uh, no. Oh. 
Uh, okay, I'll get down. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're, you're a trouble. good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Okay. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> It's okay, son. Take your time. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. Nice. <laughs> I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. Cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. It's my job. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight. Leave him, bad things leave him alone, I Toad. Told you. For fuck's sake. Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> okay, let him go. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. You can okay. go. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. <laughs> Come on then. <sighs> that went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Uh, what's up? In a minute. When you're ready. Oh, poor Snow. Let's go and have a talk to the magic mirror, shall we? Let's see what we can look on. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. I'll do that. Come on. Uh. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know... Where he's, Where he's hiding. hiding. 
drinking again. Well, that's helpful. Uh, Where Tweedledum? can we find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. That's Crane's car. Excuse me, he was in Crane's car. Excuse me! Hey, he was in Crane's car! I still want to know if anyone ever find, uh, finds out where this balloon person is hanging there. <laughs> yeah. Snow and Buffkin. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. What? Come on. Okay, let's go. A witch in well chain. Oh, I have to walk me myself. Well, I hope everyone's alright anyway. Eesh. Snow on snow. Nice. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. Okay, I'll be Jesus. Fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Look at that. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. I'd shut her eyes as well, but you know. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Road. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. <laughs> Did Anything you see else? That? Could be a bruise. She got in her hand. Looks like it's coughed up a bit. So she fought back? No marks on her knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Let's check. Uh, what the hell do I do? Leave it alone. Rope marks. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Uh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like... Track marks? 
That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Probably. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. I wonder if I know she was in there. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Sorry. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? I don't know. Flowers. Yeah. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... You wonder what? what? Uh, mind if I open it? Mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Oh, yeah, you do it. You'll be brought, yeah, you, you won't put in yourself coat. Yeah, yeah, definitely better. Well. You still okay? Are you? No, nothing. I... Sorry, that. Uh, oh, for God's sake, Crane, piss off. What have you found out? Uh. Her glamour is defective. Oh. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. Should be, but you're not, are you? <laughs> well, Ichabod we Crane isn't, anyway. Going. Uh, pocket. Use this. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Anything else? There's the glamour tube. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Quiet, oh, Greg. You keep quiet. Huh. What? There's something in here. Never. How do we open it? Uh, I, I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Uh, right, so we're making some, aren't we? Oh, that's pretty cool. Keep going. I'm up. 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 There we go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Your hair. That it's your hair. How the hell did they get that? Felt like ugh, it's bloody grossing me out actually. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Big Pete? The bastards! I know. I was trying to film back. She's a troll? Never! <laughs> I can see that, Bufkin. Holy shit! <laughs> yes, I'm gonna say. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? No idea. That wasn't there before. 
Who do you think she is? I don't oh God, know don't tell trolls, me. I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The don't tell me it's Holly's sister. No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Yep. That was she it. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go. Jeez. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. It's they five episodes long. Her go out there with you. It's up to Would Snow. Fuck off, Crane. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Go away, Crane. Bitch. So swear you're up to something. Well, I hope everyone's enjoying this anyway, because I know I am. Hard to believe it's nearly enough being it's been three quarters of an hour nearly. The trip this trap thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. Jack. You're supposed to have darts around. And I know, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. About two hours each. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Shut up, Jack. Drink, eat, fight. <laughs> Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems you know to what, lose Jack, get weight. Off me, you bitch. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I'm about five seconds for putting a hole in your mouth. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Private. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Sorry, I love that. Said you were not your fault, for don't no worry, no. Reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Thank you, Holly. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Big B, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Uh, just let him talk. Actually, have there been any updates? Uh... I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Refused to serve. To <laughs> we reserved the right to receive service. Well, you really. walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Yeah, that's it, Jack. Go away. God fucking cool. damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? 
Excuse me, you're lucky I didn't meet your goddamn arm off. About any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. Ren, stop talking. All right, everyone, clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Oh, poor Holly. I'm saying a lot. Oh, I'm saying oh, poor a lot. <laughs> oh, poor Snow. Oh, poor Snow again. Then oh, poor Holly this time. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Don't don't be that harsh, Holly. For God's sake. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yes. Now bug off. Go. Bye bye. And you, Jack. Go. Thank you. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. Mm. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The, pudding and pie. the owner Georgie with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. It's how they kept her under their thumb, really. The proof Georgie Corn. Holly, uh. it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, Fuck. we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? There we go. At least Snow, at least Snow and Holly are a bit happy now. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Thank you. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. You're welcome. I still can't believe I did that. No, it's quiet actually. It's a really good. Please have your fire, fire ready when you when you reach your destination. The 
Putting in pie. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty. But the club's closed. Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Thank you. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Uh, am I supposed to take that as a compliment or an insult? Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Okay. Same crap with it. My lips are sealed shit. Well, that was a nice fight. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. That. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. Thanks. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Hmm. Are I go for a wonder. No. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Never. No tough shit. Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake! You! Stay right there. Don't even think Leave about her sitting alone. down. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, How about shut up? after midnight, maybe, I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously. Love it. Breathe. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you dap git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when they're It's illegal. Watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Do I have fuck all to back We're it up? We're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Uh. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? 
You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, fuck you. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. Turn that shit off. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? Tell me what I want to know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Ah, uh, well done, Nubhead. Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! Oh, Joe fell for knocking it over. Proud mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Shut up, don't even hey, bother hurting that's Hans. my personal property. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I want the book. I've got to be nice. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I won't smash the place up, I just want to know. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me well, back. Look. Uh, well, there is some up there. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? I'm sure you don't. For sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Well, then give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. You fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy the place. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, exactly. About fucking time. I didn't just give Bloody it in the on, first man. place. Hey, why didn't you just give it me in the first place? Rick. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Thank you.
Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. S oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The yeah, girls make opening. arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Do that then. Stay back here. Hello, oh, let's go. Business office. All the stuff on the floor. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. What's this? Note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Empty. Faith. Jewelry box. Lock's been busted open. Busted. So is that one. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. I don't have a look at this cosmetic drawer again. Oh. Can I actually keep looking at these cover? Why don't you just pick them all up? Okay, don't bother then. Anything around here? Excuse me. I heard you out there. Hello. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have, I didn't a, reason. have a reason to come here before. I nearly missed that. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to place me. No, I'm not. You used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Nerissa. Well, Nerissa. I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how we work here. You keep saying that. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, uh, I see. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. 
Uh, okay. I think I'm okay. broke. Wait here for a second. I'm broke. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. I always do. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. So where's the open arms? Near enough next door, basically. Then, <laughs> wow, two, uh, two, <laughs> two things across morning, well, evening. Okay, let's go and have a nosy then, shall we? No refunds. Nice place. Uh, let's go ring the bell. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Beauty. Oh, uh. Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you oh, knew okay. it. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. You're welcome. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Never. Um. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me. Even though she knew that I saw her, I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I don't want. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him, or his brother? I took out a loan, for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. 
Well, come see me and I'll get it sorted for you. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. I won't be able to do, I suppose, now. Go on, then. Let's go up to the room. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, welcome. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Uh, it was this one. I can hear really rude things. I need to go into 207. I trust it to be the very end, isn't it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. This is where the room to let was. Me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Why, why is Beast in here? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, no. Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I want a case. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop saying to me! I'm what not. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. Uh, hey. Faster! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! No, I haven't! You don't have to do this. Just calm down and... Beast! Beast, stop! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! Go away, Beast. She's my wife, Big Beast! Beast. Beast, calm down for fuck's sake. I don't have to put you down. Stay down, would you, and just Leave shut up. This is my fault. Do you really think I want to hurt him? And it's just froze. Excuse me, I press Y on that. Come on. Ouch. I'm not hitting him. I'm, I'm not hitting him because I'm not one of them people. Do that. Ow. Beast, stop it. Let me just break the door down with you. There we go. Shit, Big B. What have you done? What? What is this? 
Bigby. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't want to see this. Uh... Beauty, yeah, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this... Is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? There you go, based. Now you can see what the hell I was trying to get in this room for. So calm down! Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? Uh, an exactly idiot. what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Looks like she was lying down when oh she Oh yeah, them flowers are the same thing. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Oh. An apple. Do you smell something? No, just apple. He brought wine. Classy. Crane, do, uh, Crane has that wine. We shouldn't even A be cassette? here. Cassette. For my arrival. Can I play it? <sighs> oh, for God's sake, don't, don't, don't play a bloody Bigby, copyright this, strike for I this. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while, and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Can I turn it off? Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Please can I stop it? Please can I stop it? Oh, right. Um, book. Story book. What is that? Beautiful. It's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story. The whole book is about her. Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. Uh. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh, why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no, what? What is it? I 
think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? Wow. In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like... That's nice. I don't really want to know what I'm getting that feeling. Yes. Oh my god. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been based. anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Now it's right. That's true. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently <laughs> not. She must have been so scared. Someone's been rough with this dress. I like it rough. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. No blood. It must yet. have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more. Oh no, so it got what? ripped off and what then now? she's dead. <laughs> Looks like Snow's costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. He likes it, Rolf. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like he, he likes said. it, Ralph. That's good. Creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Nelly. Envelope. Well, that music went loud. Picture of snow. Do you know? Hang on, so that was the magic mirror. Was taken last winter. Oh, no. Big B and Snow. Big B. This kind of stocking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to. Someone's get watching us. His, his stand-in for Snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh god, oh god, really Crane? Crane, really? Oh, so it's Crane watching us, is it? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? Oh, really? Really? Really Crane? You ass? Really? What an asshole. No, no you can't just leave it there. No. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on a disgusting weasel. <laughs> I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Thanks. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Oh, bug off, Blue Bird. Hello, Big B. Hello. Take care of it, Big B. Or I'll take D. care of it. D. <laughs> I think his name's D. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? you? Hello. Right. Well, 
How do you respond? You and Twitter sympathize with it. Well, I, sh I really didn't want to sympathize, but I, I thought it was nice way to do it. Persuaded him to talk. Well, a lot of people didn't. Well, near enough over half percent didn't. Did you let Snow come with you? Of course I did. Snow let her own decision, you know. How did you You are 19.5. Well, a lot of people don't like Georgie. Did you keep punishing Bear? Uh, punching Bear? Yeah, you would. No. You, you, you wouldn't play, I, I, I didn't hit him when he was down, it was me. Well that's going to do it for this episode guys, I hope you very much enjoyed watching and until next time I'll keep it all updated on the Wolf Among Us chat on Facebook if you haven't already. It's a closed group, so you're welcome to come and have a look and join then so you can keep regular updates. But until then, until next time, goodbye.